Hey, what's today's daily sprint time about increasing our purpose, passion, and meaning. And today, I want to tell you a, I think lie is too hard of a, uh, a word to use, but I guess the opposite of a truth is a lie. So a lie that, uh, that my mom taught me that I see a lot on social media, a lot because it gets good likes. It gets good likes and comments and yeah, right on. And that is, is to trust your feelings. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. So if it feels good, do it. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. Well, that's nonsense. My mom used to say, honey, you gotta trust your gut. You gotta trust your gut. Now, some of you are right now, you might be getting offended. You're like, no, my mom said the same thing. And, and it's true. What are you talking about? A good book to read is Think Again. Think Again brings up a lot of stuff that we are fed. You know, like the frog. If you boil a frog slowly, it'll boil. But if you put it in boiling water, it jumps off. Not, not true, not true. So let me give you some examples of why we don't want to act on our feelings, um, at least initially. Uh, first, your fear, first feeling that you're gonna have when confronted with opportunity is going to be fear, period. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fear. When I was confronted with, I, I actually didn't open gyms for a very long time because I was scared. I was like, oh man, you, you can lose it all. You can go bankrupt, that's crazy. Just stay here. I was making great money working for gyms. Oh, I know that's always been my boyhood dream. I know I've always wanted to open a gym, but ooh, when it's confronted with it, fear. You're, and that's a protective me uh, mechanism. If you read the book, Rejection Proof, they talk about that, it's physiology. Second, your brain is wired to keep you from pain, period. So why do you think so many people join gyms the, the first of the year and then get out of there? Their brain associates a pain with their ultimate pleasure of getting in great shape. It's like, this is painful. Get out of here. Your joints hurt. Don't do this. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Guys, there's even that, to our team, there's even a, a name for this. It's called Growing Pains. There was a TV show that I used to watch growing up called Growing Pains. Growth is painful. So when you, by definition, when you're confronted with an opportunity that's gonna be growth, whether it's growth in your marriage, okay? It might be like your, your wife comes home, hey, honey, I really think we need to get some therapy, some counseling. Your initial feeling is gonna probably be offense. What do you mean? We don't need that. Your initial feeling, oh yeah, trust that. Your wife comes home and says, hey, I want to level up our marriage and go to therapy. Trust that feeling, offense, or, or whatever it might be. It might be fear. Well, that's going to cost money, whatever it is. But our initial reaction is generally going to be something that keeps us keeps us in comfort, okay? Which isn't a bad thing, but our brains are archaic. These things are archaic in here, okay? We don't have to worry about mountain lions jumping on us anymore. Most of us don't. We don't have to be worried about eating by eaten by sharks. We don't have to be wor worried about tribal gangs coming up or different tribes coming up and taking over our, our tents and, and, and pillaging our villages, okay? But those are still the places that our brains will go to whenever confronted with a level up situation. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Um, and the less that I, that I listen to my feelings, the better, the more I'm able to overcome, the better life gets, the greater my capacity gets. So now I do believe that there is instinct, you know, like instinct, like you go down a dark alley and like instinct tells you, eh, but that's kind of based off some fact. It's a dark alley, not well lit, could be some kind of shadowy people around there, okay? So I think instinct is kind of oftentimes both, uh, backed up by some logic. Uh, but hey, I'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Have a great growth-driven rest of your day.